Hi. In this session, we'll discuss about two samples of workflow. One is broadcast notification and other one is notification response validation. The first one is broadcast notification. So like when you get a requirement to send a notification to the multiple user, how do we send that? So the basic approach we, which we follow in this particular sample is like creation of a role and adding the users to role. So let me show you the package which I use for the purpose of creating a role. So wf underscore directory dot create adac role is one of the package which I used here. I mentioned the role name as xxlt role and just added the use one of the user called operation. And if you want to add up some more extra users to this particular role, we can just use this particular functionality called wf directory dot add user to adac role. And let me see, let us see like what are the users, who are the users who are available under this particular role. So as per you as per the result here if you observe there are two users the operation user and sysadmin user There are two users which are under this particular role now Let us say if I send a notification to this role What will happen is the notification will be sent to the list of users who are assigned to this role nothing But like to the operation user as well as the sysadmin user So the basic thing is like how do we assign the role value and all those things here? So let me show you the process here this very simple process here start activity end activity as well as the notification message and here if you observe here on the broadcast notification just click on node and I mentioned the item attribute here as XX role So what is the type of this XX role attribute? Let us see that so the role XX role is having the data type as role Okay, so this is this will take care of assigning the list of users at runtime to the list of I mean, I mean to say like this role attribute will get the role information and find out the list of users and then it will assign the notification to all the users so that dynamically it will send the notification to all the users who are assigned to this role. So let us see how it works. So I'll try to invoke this one, this particular functionality here. I just assign the role name here, XX role with my role name. So the role name is this one, XXLT role. Okay, so let's invoke this one. It got completed. So I'll just open Oracle Abyss with a user sysadmin. We have to see a notification here. We got this one particular notification here. And also if you log in with a sys if you log in with the operation user, you also need to see one more notification for this particular user. Right? You got it. So this is how we can send a notification to the multiple user. There could be multiple approach, but this is one of the very easier approach which we can use it. Okay. Let us see another sample now. So now another sample in this one is like here we just have if we just have this particular Process here and now if you observe here if the user is trying to reject it is not for your action approval But it is uh, like uh, if the user is trying to respond to this notification by providing the reject response Then we'll raise a notification. Okay, so let us invoke the sample and then we'll see how we have done the coding So I'll just try to invoke this one invoke workflow with response here it got completed successfully. Now I'm sending the notification to the operation user. Refresh. This is the one XXWF response message. Click on this one. Okay. Now here, if you observe here, it is not it is not a it, it is not a for your action kind of notification, but it's a for your information notification only. But we just added the action attribute. That's the reason it will show the submit button here. Now in the response reason, let us say if I just mentioned reject. If I just mention response action as reject and if I just try to click on submit it will raise an issue saying that you have to mention You have to mention the message if you perform the reject Let us say if I just click on approve it doesn't ask you the reason Okay, if at all if you're trying to reject the workflow notification it requires a response But how this particular error is getting raised is it's based on the Workflow based on this particular response. I mean to say on this notification. We are calling a package in that particular package We're trying to validate the attribute value and based on that we are raising this particular error So let us see the logic here now on this notification. Just observe here. We are calling a function called valid response procedure So let us see what is the coding available in this one So in this one if you observe here if the function mode is in response nothing but if user is trying to Perform an action on this one and then what are we trying to do? We're just trying to get the response response reason as well as Response action. Okay, if the response action, let us say activity result code here, right? If the result code is reject and the response reason is null Let us say if the res response is region re response reason is null and Active result code is reject then we are raising this particular issue Okay result is equal to this one and then automatically this information will be shown in our notification response page 
okay so this is how we can design a workflow to you know like a to to raise out the errors based on approval okay it is not necessary that we need to have this logic what you can do is let us say let us assume that you have a for your action notification and one on approval button or maybe on reject button you want to consider you want to raise an exception what we can do is just check out the condition and based on that you just need to write you just need to write this particular result value okay so then automatically it will raise the issue yeah thank you